Okay, this is Christian with Pure Drive Performance. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to read and flash with EvoScan. Uh, the cable I recommend is the EvoScan 1.3R or 1.3U. The 1.3R is made to use with EvoScan only, and the 1.3U, I guess, has a uh, certificate that allows you to use it with ECU flash as well. Um, for my customers, I like to keep it real simple. We just use EvoScan. A uh, customer will put the, uh, they'll read their ROM first, send it to me. I will, uh, uh, the first bass tune will be a completely fresh, uh, tune. I like to have your old, uh, ROM on file just in case we need to look back at that for whatever reasons, but I like just keep that on file. But anyways, um, and then you would also use EvoScan to flash and log. So it keeps it real simple. Um, you don't have to worry about any XML files. Um, you know, it just keeps it simple for most of my customers. So anyways, um, let me show you how to read first. So the first thing you'll do is go, uh, well, obviously open up EvoScan. Get the newest one. I believe the, you get a discount if you buy EvoScan with the uh, cable. And uh, it's coming from New Zealand, so it takes a little bit. Anyways, you want to turn your ignition key to on, but your engine off. And then, of course, have your cable hooked up. Then uh, there may be some drivers that you need, but you can read up on that. Most of you guys are pretty um, computer savvy. Anyways, you want to go to here, re reflash ECU. And uh, read write. Okay. This is not actually hooked up to my car right now, so or to a car. So... Um, it won't work, but I'll show you how to get to there. Anyways, it says select ECU type. Uh, if you have an Evo 8, 7 or 8 there, and this one's 4 or 9. And you can see here too, it says 1.3R or 1.3U. You also need the uh, the flash plug plugged in, which is attached to the cable itself. So let's say it's a 9, and then we want to read from ECU. So you click that. And obviously, I don't have an open port cable connected. It's not connected, but it'll basically say what I told you earlier. Um, ignition on, engine off, cable plugged in, flash cable plugged in, and then hit OK. So that is the procedure to read. Uh, you'll see here it'll uh, have a uh, read status, basically, of how long it's taking or where it's at in the, in the reading process. And uh, for a read, it takes a little bit longer. And for the first um, ROM, the base tune, it's going to take longer because it's going to be writing everything versus just writing a few things. Anyways, that's how you read from ECU. This will end up in your folder here where it says, well, mine says this, user, Christian documents, EvoScan, and then ROM. So we'll go to that right now. So I'll open up a file here. And we'll just go to Documents here. And I'll go to EvoScan. Make sure you go to the right one, 2.9. And go to ROMs. And then uh, I did one yesterday. So it says Flash Image right there. There's the year, the day, and the month, and the time. That was at uh, almost midnight. So that would be your. Uh, image off or your ROM off of your car. And that's what you'll send to me on um, there. I could get the mobilizer and uh, just see what's going on with the previous tune. But uh, also just good to have in your records uh, for the future. Now, when I send you the base tune, you're going to stick it back in this ROM or in this folder, excuse me. And you can see it's under C drive, users, Christian, Documents, Evo Scan folder, and then ROMs. Okay, so that's important. So yesterday, I put these two um, stock ROMs in in this folder, and close that. And I will just go through this one more time. So we're going to reflash it. So again, oh by the way, it'll tell you to turn the ignition off after you uh, read or flash. <laughs> Anyways, go to there, right. So now we're going to write to ECU. So we're going to have one more added step. Um, we're going to choose on the left side here the actual tune that we're going to flash. 
So the ones I send will say something like PDP1 base, and then maybe a little bit about it, like E85 or 91, and then probably your name and the ROM ID. So anyways, um, so you just look on here, look for PDP1, then the next one I'll send you will be PDP2, so on and so forth. And then from there, instead of read from ECU, you're going to write to ECU. Okay. Obviously, again, mine's not connected. Um, one thing I want to point out is <clears throat> for the Evo 9s, for some reason, they're very sensitive to the voltage in the vehicle at the time. So if you have one of those small batteries or you have kind of a iffy battery, then you may need a, um, a uh, jumper to it. So that way it's seen close to 12 volts. I think it wants to see at least 11 and a half volts when sitting there and flashing. Um, one trick that I use is that I'll start the car and then idle for a few minutes hit the um, write ECU or read either one. And then when it says, um, you know, plug in all this other stuff, not this one, but the actual one when it's actually plugged in, then I'll hit it with the car running. I'll hit the OK button and it'll shut the car down itself. And then you'll have a surface uh, charge on your battery that enough to get it through. For the Evo 8s, for some reason, you can have a pretty low battery and it'll still flash. Um, the Evo 9s are just more sensitive to that for some reason. So anyways, this is how you do it. And then, uh, you know, do your email and, you know, look in here for your the date if you want. You can go to the newest one and you can send that to me in, in email for the uh, for your files and just so I have your mobilizer and things like of that nature. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, I didn't see anything on YouTube just yet. And uh, hopefully uh, this will help a few people out.